Jake, it is so hard not to answer a knocked door. Is this uh, like metaphorically? Like, you know, when opportunity knocks, it's hard you gotta to answer it. prioritize your family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, Nate Bargetsy just wants me to open for him. No, uh, literally, specifically at my own house, but I just think in general, it's it just feels so unnatural for me. I'll go into my room, Henry's in there, and I will shut the door, and Rosie can't open the door yet. And so she'll just come in, very politely just knock on it and it takes everything in me not to open it. Even though I just was like, I know she's about to jump on Henry. This is not a good idea for her to come in here. Just something psychologically, someone knocking at your door. Like, well, I got to let him. Like Hitler could be at my door and be like, <laughs> knock, knock, hey. I am here. <laughs> like, well, maybe, maybe he's just needing some cinnamon. I'm not Jewish. I, no, I'm fine. Right. I don't think he'd do anything to me. I'm like brown, brownish hair now, but I was blonde as a kid. As long as you didn't find about the Asian hair. Yeah. It's a way we'll of describing fine. it. It's American hair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you said that, you know, what it reminded me of one of the only times I've ever had sleep paralysis back in, I'd say 2015. I'm right. napping on the K Life couch. Uh, Audrey Chinock <laughs> knocks on my front door. Who is? Uh, she was the president of the, the board of. Yeah. K life, kind of like your my uh, boss. Yeah, a little bit of a boss. Yeah, and and she she acted like it. Yeah, the only time I've ever had sleep paralysis, they've always been naps, and they've always been some weird way of awakening. So thinking about like kind of getting startled awake, it woke my brain up, didn't wake my body up, and so I couldn't move. And so I really, I had no problem not answering the lock or the knock door because I couldn't move. My eyes opened. What? And I could. Have everyone ever told you about sleep paralysis? No. Yeah, it's happened to me like I think twice. Um, yeah, once at college and once at the cat house. So she's just knocking on the door and could see through the window. I'm just like laying there, she's like, Jake, <laughs> and knocking, and I can't move. Really? It sounds like a weird dream or For something. How, but how long? It, you just have to go back to sleep. What? You can't move. You can't wiggle your way out of it. You can't wake yourself up eventually. Like It's, it's like, like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe the internet would do a good job, but it's like there's part of your brain, that, like there's some cognition that wakes up, but not enough to like get brain activity to your arms and you're like, you can't do anything. So your eyes were awake. I owe my eyes. I was you were at the just couch staring at this woman. <laughs> Jake, and you're just <laughs> <laughs> a bird <laughs> in a city. Have you ever, look, do me a favor. Google sleep paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to wake yourself up. Yeah, it's uh, it, it was scary. It can you, really can you make you any out. noise? Like I've never. I hope it never happens to me, but like I, I couldn't make any noise. And luckily I knew what it was. I think I would have been yeah. more scared. Like what's happening? Am I dead? Like what's happening? But and a lot of people have like borderline, like night terrors, like see things or shadowy figures, a lot of stuff when it comes to sleep I've, paralysis. Yeah, I've heard. Oh, it yeah. Like terrifying. Um, I just can't open the door of my board president, but, um, <laughs> but yeah. So was that a fun start to the episode? I think so. So, they're called night demons, and they're not... Uh, I, I mean, know. they're not dementors, okay? <laughs> uh, uh-oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat, too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat, so come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, because it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. I believe we are still presented by Good Ranchers. At this time. <laughs> so <laughs> shout out to them. <laughs> We're in a little bit of a gray area right now. But go ahead and please, send some love their way. Buy some Good Ranchers. GoodRanchers.com. GRKC. Yep. If this is your first episode for whatever reason, one, welcome to the best podcast community on the planet. Two, check out Good Ranchers. See what it's all about. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what you yeah. guys know. Go That's there. Right. You have the internet. Uh, the time is 10 11. PM. <laughs> yep. Central time. I was hoping you were gonna do uh camp camp version. Ready? Time is 1011. Okay. This is going <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about camp tonight because I went and ran my miles, like 7 p.m. was nice. Just like it just got done raining, it was humid. I was like, man, it feels like a can of cuck night. Yeah, I love summer rain. Time is 1011. What do you say? Time. Oh, is that what you guys do? I don't know. I'm the grass with <laughs> <of> straws here. <laughs> just say it to me. The time is 1011. What time? Do you guys not do that? I guess not. Oh, really? I'm sorry, bud. The time is currently 10 11. What time? what time? 10 11. Lights out is going to be at 10 45. What time? 10 45. Oh, yeah, we didn't do that. Oh, With really? taps. And taps is going to be at 10 55. 
Count what time? What time? Ten fifty five. Counselors, you're welcome. They, they, that, that was a classic line. Like the first week of camp or first night of camp when like K life got over super early. The time is currently you know seven forty five. What time? Seven forty five. Taps is going to be at eight o'clock. What time? Counselors, you're welcome. That is early night. Yeah, dude. Timon, what do you think taps stands for? And um, does it stand for anything? I think it's a word and it's a uh, wake up melody. <laughs> <laughs> stands for totally, absolutely, positively silent. This is just like you got to shut down the cabin, lights uh, are off, like we're going to bed. That's not what it stands for to me. Ready? Oh. Totally. All person silent. Oh. That's what I thought. Oh. Hey, who's, who's Two out there? Two schools of thought. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Like, so what about like uh, back at camp? You remember how like if someone was on the microphone, you kind of heckle? Did you heckle them? Totally. Yeah, yeah. You can't. Certain words you can't say. Timon. Let, let's heckle Timon. And maybe <laughs> our, our, our heck, you're not gonna remember him. Oh, I'll try. I'll try. Timon, just um, give an announcement. Anything you want. Like, <laughs> right, let's say right. let's say lunch is lunch is wrapping yeah, up. Hey. We have X amount of time left for lunch. Right, cool, cool, cool. Um, get everyone's attention. All the kind of stuff. Yep. All right. Attention, all right. campers. All right. 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 So we had different cheers, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Up, 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 up. Did you do that? We did up, do the star. Up, up. <laughs> we did like, bro. Depending on how much we didn't like the counselor, like we were really long on. Up, 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 up. Beans are getting low. Um, there's. Up, 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 up. Great announcement. <laughs> Beans are getting low. 13 minutes left. 13! 13. 13. Let's, Let's count, count them. them! I'm not going to count them. But I <laughs> could What would you do after you... 12, 13. Booyah. 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 Oh. We had booyah involved, but in a different way. Oh, wow. Ours is very call and response, male, female. Booyah, booyah, booyah. But what if the girls weren't there? Um, then some of the more feminine guys would take it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, the know. girls were always there in some capacity because the, the kitschies oh, were there. Yeah, yeah. So I think the kitschies always play the uh, the other role. I see. Okay. The trans yes. kind of of the cheers. The kitschies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, we count them. Good. Last call for Doritos as well. <laughs> <laughs> you think we have name brand Doritos? Yeah. <laughs> Last call Last for Doritos. Last call for... Um, <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> Last call for nacho cheese flavored chips. Great. And that's it. Thank you. Good, good announcement. We, did we cheer? We did all right. Oh, okay. Such a good job. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, at least we had that one the same. Oh, what was you doing for all right? I thought our all right was from K West. Dude, I don't know. I got a, I got a newborn. I'm not sleeping. Yeah, I you're right. You're I right, can't right. remember any of this stuff, man. <laughs> it's a good excuse, dude. Just wait. How do we get talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't remember. <laughs> oh, the time. Good the rancher. time is 10 11. Oh, wow. What time? <laughs> Sheesh. Well, Candy Cuck was fun. That was a good time. I, 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 I used I've, to do I've that. had my kids start doing that sometimes. Yeah. What time? What time? Yeah. I want you guys in your pajamas with your brushed teeth at by 7 o'clock. What time? <laughs> Seven. I uh, I got some for the OG ghosties and for you. Okay. Those who listened back in 2020 might remember a familiar character. Time, have you got to the 2020 episodes yet? I'm. Um, I think I am like finishing the 2020 ones because I. Okay. The next episode in the like line is the best of 2020. Oh, so I'd say, say yeah. I'm probably there. Logic tells. Mm -hmm. um, Ola, remember him? Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him yesterday really? for the first time in years. Uh, had jeans on. <laughs> like always, um, he was at the Lenexa pickleball courts and he had something I've never seen before. He had a device. It was the size of just like a button. Like when your mom comes to your games and wears your button. Yeah. He had a button like that pinned to his, his breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. And it was a speaker and he was playing. I thought it was going to be LMFAO. And I was oh. like, no way. Cause from a distance, all I could hear is like, it was it was like house music. It was like EDM music. So he's still very very European. Likes to dance music. Every day I'm shuffling. Uh, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, LMFAO. <laughs> I always got to freak out. Oh. When I got closer, I was like, it sounds like it's. I was like, oh, it's not quite. It's a copyright free. EDM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like when you see Arnold Palmer mix the lemonade and the tea. It's like, <laughs> oh, 
oh my gosh, she's I'm, doing it. It's, that's uh, why they call it that. Yeah. Because of you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was good to see him. Never got to play against him or, or yeah, with him, but interact with them he or... was in the vicinity and yeah, he just, so he would go play and just had his own personal speaker clipped to his chest. I've never seen anything like that. That sounds like a Gunner move. Like Gunner seems like he would be the kind of guy that- Like I'm so into my own music. Well, and like, I, I don't know about Ola, but Gunner's the kind of guy that gets one of those- free from an expo or from a friend or something like he, Gunner's not buying one. He's like, there's actually not bad though. It but Gunner's going to, yeah, he's going to find one and be like, well, yeah, I'm going to use that. Like, I'm not just going to like throw that in the <laughs> junk drawer. So I don't even know if I recognize Ola. Oh yeah, you would. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Nobody looks like Ola. <laughs> he's the only one in jeans playing bigger ball. <laughs> Was he in jeans with us? Is that right? I don't know. I just, every time I've seen him since then, he's always been like in jeans and like a really tight wife beater, but not a uh, white. It's like a Navy. Like a navy skin tight tank, very European. Yeah, as well. yeah, 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 yeah. Like not like a white. Yeah, like a just a tank. Just like top. a cotton tank. Yeah, that's so good. So um, that and eyebrow hair. That's all I got. <laughs> no, I, got I I got uh, charged two dollars the other day on my credit card for something that I don't think I bought. That's one ninth of what Taiwan would pay for bad Wi Fi on a flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only only four or sixty more dollars to go. But, um, <laughs> And I decided, as I think a rational person would, not to report it for fraud. <laughs> what would you like? Because I, I, I started to. I was like, I didn't make this purchase. I went on the website. Interesting. And like, a fraudulent but, $2 purchase. But they're like. What a bad criminal. Yeah. They're like, okay, we will report this for fraud. We will get this taken care of, whatever. On the, I don't know. It said so many things. And we'll send you out a new card with a new number on it. And I was like. That seems like a lot. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have so many things set up for bills oh. and like everything. And so I'm just like, I'll suck it up. That's and like, that is the genius of the scheme of the $2 <laughs> fraud charge. That's middle-class fancy right there. You got so many subscriptions <laughs> lined up. Like $2, he can have $2. I'm not, I'm not redoing my Spotify premium card. <laughs> no, but there's so many things. Like I don't even know what I have, like, you know, waste water and like things that, yeah, like bills gas. that are on credit card. Yeah, that's don't what it is. switch that. I'm like, I don't want to mess that. And then, they let us know three months later, like, hey, just FYI, you owe us all this money. And I'm like, well, dang it. We're going to turn off your wastewater. I'm like, where is that? <laughs> I don't know how that what works. What valve is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just uh, let it go. It was it was this website. You should go to it. It's ARC. What if I just like put you on some crazy website? <laughs> ARCBRTH.com. It looks like ARC. ARC birth? Birth. And I was like, okay, maybe it's something with, you know, Catherine, whatever. Like, this is the most generic looking website I've ever seen. Like, that it says nothing and everything at the same time. It does say nothing. At arcbirth.com, we want to have a positive impact on your customer service experiences. We want you to have a fantastic experience when you speak with us. <laughs> we exist to solve all your problems and concerns. We want you to have the solution you need for your problem right away. We want to share our knowledge with you in the quickest, most efficient way. This is, yeah. This, this, this is nothing. Sketchy. Yeah. This is nothing. And I was like, Catherine, do you know about this? And she's like, I have no idea. I mean, their wet, their phone number is like a UK phone number. I mean, it's definitely fraud. But I'm like, I'm not. It, yeah. But that's the thing. If they do that to a million people, they, they just hack in for two bucks a piece. You just made two million bucks. It sounds like they do customer service. I mean, maybe a company you, you've you used is outsourcing their customer service with ArcBirth. Maybe it was like a uh, cre credit card charge or something. <coughs> Excuse me about that, ArcBirth. I Googled that who uses ArcBirth. Oh. And yeah. it, it brought up Joan of Arc on the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't know if you bought her recently. <laughs> yeah, you might have been scammed. That's so interesting. I think I would have done the same thing. I think I'm like, well, I'm already on the website. I'm already here. I might as well report it for fraud. And then once they start saying, all right, we'll see you new credit cards. Like, I, I didn't mean it. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Because I have gotten that one time. It was like a $400 Best Buy charge or something. I was like, well, I didn't make that. Yeah. But yeah, they, I had to reset all the things. And I'm like, not for $2. <laughs> uh, I'm doing be well enough in life. I'm not I'm not killing it. But I have enough money where I can let that go. For chip away. A little two here, a little two there. Exactly. That's fine. Yeah, that's funny. So Congrats on getting to that stage. Thanks, man. You're, not, you're doing all right. Yeah. Hattie would be like, you just gave away $2 for nothing? What is it? Like four Tootsie Rolls, depending on the deal I'm running that day. That's like, yeah, one two hundredth of a ferret, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, have you been watching much college basketball? Oh, yeah. DJ oh, Burns? Yeah. 
Who's is that the big boy yeah. from somewhere? A red school? NC State. You NC you State. seem like you've been watching a lot of college basketball <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I've watched more women's games than I've watched men's games. That's crazy. I'm I'm full on uh, Barbie boy now. What? <laughs> what? Like, are you watching just every game? Just Iowa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we'll, I'll catch the March Madness, the men's games. You know, maybe the second half of them, or they're on the bus, whatever. Um, but I have uh, some poultry of the week. Okay. I my poultry is with Gene Steratore. You know that name? Oh yeah. They will, so this is a guy, you know, we hear from a lot in football. If you watch sports, like when there's reviews, the officials on site will take a look at the replay and make their decision. But while you're kind of waiting, usually the commentators will like, we're going to call in our experts at New York. And it's, it's this guy named Gene Steratore. Yeah. He's like a, like a retired referee. The best in the biz. I assume. I don't <laughs> know how he got the position. Do you remember him when he was an NFL ref? Actually I do. I can't yeah. imagine him. Yeah. 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 He kind of looks like this, like. New Yorker kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, like a Michael Scott with like a Sebastian Maniscalco or like something. A, like a season one Michael Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slick back. Yeah. Uh, and so in football, I feel like he normally has some things to say. Like, um, well, what's interesting about this rule is, you know, if it's an onside kick, you can't, you know, whatever. And you're yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. learning alongside it. In basketball, every review in basketball is who touched the ball last. Every time they review a play, I feel like that's what it is. And every time... We know we all see it. it. Doesn't take a referee to see it. I mean, it's just it's very black and white. Who touched it last? Went off his finger. All right, went off yellow. White ball. Yeah. And not only does this take two to three minutes, they bring in Gene Steratore. Like, <laughs> all right, Gene, what are you seeing out here? We brought our expert. He's the best of the best. All the way from New York, Gene. What's up? <laughs> you squinting here, Gene? He's like, yeah. I mean, it clearly looks like on the on the court they called it black ball, but I think I'm seeing what you guys are seeing, guys. That's right. Yeah, it did go off. It did go off white. Mm -hmm. So it looks like if, if the officials are seeing what I'm seeing, it's, it's going to be black ball here, you know, whatever. There's, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, we all saw that the, immediately when they showed us the first replay. They're just What's taking time. three minutes? What's yeah. Gene, how's Gene employed? <laughs> it, like a Hattie could tell you, who touched it last? This is yeah. an elementary level stuff. I can see who's, that, who's touching it last. Yeah, yeah, there's no rules. Yeah. He's got the easiest job in the world. Dude, well, in general, even in the NFL season, he's got the easiest job in the world. Yeah, he usually just like agrees with what, like the status quo is. And even if he if he gets it wrong, who cares? <laughs> yeah, yes, no. There's no punishment for that. Like, well, that's all well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're seeing different angles and I'm seeing, you know, whatever. <laughs> like he'll even like, you know, kind of play that oh, card. Oh, well. I'm sure they have a good reason for it. We'll hear about it after the game. <laughs> yeah, well, that dude. Was nice. That is like the most broken part about basketball in general is like the last 2 minutes review stuff. Like, let's go to the tape and make sure like even though it was definitely like quote unquote off one guy, one other guy like barely touched it. And yeah, like, I don't like the replay. Just in with general, that, yeah. that's not right. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a little bit of like momentum or like even the momentum of a, of a player that if it goes into the call, like the defensive guy, like almost kind of bumped into the offensive guy and his arm definitely made contact with the ball at some point. It's like, I could have called a foul there. Instead, I was going to call it the other team's ball. Yeah. Well, now you can replay it. Like technically, it actually did go off him. So now it's oh, their ball. Yeah. It's like, well, that stinks. Right, even though that one guy clearly was like swatting it that it way, was like his fault the ball went out of bounds. Yes, but I will lucky. say I appreciate Gene Steratore on the uh, like flagrant calls. Like they'll come to him for those, you know. Like, really? Yeah. Uh, hey, was this malintent? You know, bad. Like, are they going to call flagrant here? Like, oh no, it's just going to be a common foul. Blah blah blah. And he'll say something I didn't know. But I learned in women's basketball night they don't call them flagrants. Everything's just called an intentional foul. Okay, interesting. Yeah, in a couple of years, they're thinking about calling them Draymonds. It's kind of fun. <laughs> what do you think about uh, the quarters versus halves? Kind of throws me off. When you start watching a game, like how much time we got? Whoa, it's already oh, yeah. second quarter, second quarter. Yeah, women's college basketball. I think they've talked about doing it for men's. And I don't know. I don't know. I like four quarters. That's what we did in high school. Yeah. The NBA does. I know. It's only college basketball that does halves. Yeah, only men's. Yeah. Weird. That is, that's, that's wacky. <laughs> Something's up that's, with that. That's bizarre. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I've, I've enjoyed the the it was a good it was a good tournament so far I think because like the second round of games Sweet Sixteen Elite Eight of course it's like Final Four National Championship now it's already over pretty much I think by the time this is recorded but um there's been fun because they were like competitive like the right teams were in the Sweet Sixteen if that mm. makes sense see I didn't think that many were competitive there's a lot of blowouts I, I was like dying for some close games really yeah I'm trying to think off the top of my head I can't remember but I mean those games yesterday two days ago they're fun like the the teams. 
the Illinois UConn UConn's just rolling. Yeah. If if I had to guess right now, they probably they just won the national cut, championship. Cut down the nets. Yeah. <laughs> but like the Purdue, Purdue's fun to watch. Uh, they won their first two games by like eighty points total, though. Yeah. They they were freaking. Yeah. I mean that sixteen seed. I'm talking about like the Sweet Sixteen games. They just I don't know. It's just fun basketball. But. Um, Plus, I just have time to just sit around right now at home. With my, <laughs> yeah, I'll watch basketball. Like, yeah, I'll watch. This is awesome. I feel like every game I've tried to watch, it's like, it's not a close game. You're like, right. oh, dang. They pulled away, and now it's a 12-point game. Yeah. All right. No no, like, no like March Madness has the happened, The NC State-Duke really. game, though? Like, NC State's crazy. Yeah. I, was, I was trying to explain that. I explained to Hattie yesterday at dinner. I was like, so Hattie, do you know there's this big tournament going on? That's why I've been watching all this basketball. She's like, I didn't know. I was like, there's 68 teams that started this tournament. And, you know, I was like, they rank them from the best to the worst. And this NC State Wolf Pack, and Bo was like, oh, I love the Wolves. Yeah. Wolves, yeah. I was like, they were 44th. The 44th best team <laughs> is what people thought. And now there's only four teams left, and they're one of them. What? Like, Hattie, <laughs> like I, I explained it in enough detail to where Hattie could understand. She was so pumped about it. Beating Duke. Oh, it was beautiful. And they were down like 12 points, 13 points in that game that came back. Well, that's nice. So good I thought point. that was a good game. Anyway. Was it close at the end though? It was awesomely not close because I freaking, know I, I just want to. I was want a nice good one. Oh, wanna, dude, but like, uh, was a, it the Alabama? Of, who did Alabama play? And it was like, or the A and M. There was there's been some close ones. Like, I think every time I've games. seen a close game, uh, when a team does have a last second shot, no one's made it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like there has been that moment where like someone like, stepped up and made a clutch shot. Yeah, everyone shot. has missed the buzzer beater yeah. so far. So far, hey, so yeah. far as we're recording this. Hey, Zach, you hit a half-court shot? That'd be fun. That'd be so fun. Time and your friends have been texting me a lot. <laughs> uh, Zach texted me, Happy Easter. Cool. Kind of random. <laughs> I said, thank you for not texting me, Hoppy Easter. <laughs> and he said, no problem. I'll do it again next year. And then he sent me a screenshot of him putting it in his calendar to text me Happy <laughs> Easter next year. And That's then fun. Uh, your friend Graydon, uh, Thursday at 7.04 p.m., uh, the show's... Start at seven. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, Jake, this is random, but are you in Nebraska? I had not texted back yet, and he texted and said, I think Nebraska, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and I said, you bet I am, five minutes from going on stage. He said, good luck. Your spotlight guy is my girlfriend's uncle. <laughs> oh. I said, oh, no way. We'll tell him to say hi afterwards or during. <laughs> this, and, who's uh, that, Graydon? Graydon's girlfriend's uncle running the spotlight. <laughs> and I, I will say... Oh, missed me coming out. I was oh. in the darkness for a little bit. That That's just how it happened. I think if you were asking him, he would say, yeah, I was a little slow. He's like, yeah, I was texting Graydon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard like either Graydon or Katie, his girlfriend, say like that he's just been like picking up these random new jobs. So maybe he's not super seasoned. Oh, I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> he wasn't expecting my, my little light jog out of there, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that was fun. And that's funny. That guy came up to me afterwards like, hey, I'm uh, Graydon's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Girlfriend's uncle. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you just you moonlight on the spotlight thing. What do you do here? <laughs> Does that happen very often where they miss you? Uh. Yeah. I think if you're the first guy, uh -huh. uh, yeah, you get some like uh, some imperfections at the beginning. At the beginning of what show was it? Doesn't matter. But they the lights were going nuts behind. Me. I'm like 30 seconds into my set, and the lights behind me are like off, and then back on, <laughs> and then everything went dark and there was just one single spotlight on me it was like very dramatic I, like, I guess i'll just keep telling my jokes while they figure this did out did you acknowledge it no not quite they, yeah. they fixed it they were going back and forth pretty quickly but i was like i think this is not how it's supposed to be <laughs> and one time i was almost in between jokes and they all started laughing so i think something flashed on the screen behind me i was like well what are you guys laughing about <laughs> what's happening i don't like you guys laughing without me knowing it That's so yeah sometimes that happens there's a comedy club one time where the projector turned on in the middle of my set and I think it was like either Dateline or 2020, which was projected <laughs> on me while I was performing. Like TV. Yeah, t oh, yeah TV you, just came on. In a recent episode you were, that I was listening to, you were sharing about that. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Yeah. Rough. Comedy club. No one was out there because the green room was back behind the kitchen. So, I mean, just like, it's like could somebody <laughs> fix it? <laughs> and a guy, a guy who was just there watching the comedy show just went up and turned the projector off for me. So that was nice of him. That's crazy. Like you should have just like turn around and be like, I guess if this is on, we should watch it. Well, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> wow. Whoa. Okay. Hey, human trafficking. It's serious. Take it seriously. It's modern slavery. I would, you guys I know would, about this? Yeah. Look into that. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. One of the things on, I've been watching a lot of college basketball, Planet of the Apes. Let's talk about it real quick. 
It's been advertised. It's at the pet store. It's in the center of it. <laughs> what? Okay. Do you remember when we were, I don't know, we're 12? About, like the movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. We were 12, 14, whatever. Planet of the Apes came out. Like, the, Planet of the Apes was a long time ago, but then they like had a new one come out when we were kids. Do you kind of remember this? Yes, I do. I will say this is kind of like Marvel stuff to me. I, I've never watched it. don't really know much. That's my point with the whole <laughs> Planet of the Apes thing. <laughs> I don't know a single person who's into it. That's a good point. And they keep making them. <laughs> and I want to know who is giving them money. And they're they're huge budget things, right? Because they're like that's what I'm saying. Like I've seen ads for them, never seen it myself. Like I don't know. Look <laughs> it's into like the it. latest it, technology. Like, never seen it myself. Exactly. I don't know of anybody who's like, man. I I I was at the midnight premiere of Planet of the Apes last night. Dressed up as an ape. Yeah. Got canceled afterwards. It was, <laughs> it's totally worth it. Okay. Totally awesome. Yeah. I also <laughs> genuinely don't know of anyone. Because like it came out when we were like 14 or I don't know, however old we were. Okay. And it was like, okay, yeah, kind of cool. But I didn't know anybody who was like, dude, I am crazy about Pe Planet of the Apes. Like that was one <laughs> of the coolest movies I've ever seen. Like, and they, I, it feels like in the last five years, they've made three Planet of the Apes movies or something. Like I, there's a lot of them, them, I think. Like I, I think I recently like saw a trailer for one. So I like looked them up. There's like so many of them. <laughs> there was one in 1968. Maybe that was the original one. Yes. I think so. I've heard, I've heard that one's actually really good. So I should watch that one. Yeah. yeah, you should definitely check that out. Definitely watch that for us. <laughs> uh, the one in 2001, 2001, the budget was, is this right? This says the budget was $100 million in 2001. Uh, give me some context there. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a ton of money. That's a it? lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Like Marvel movies are like $200 million. Okay. Now. Yeah, now. Sums yeah. up with my internet. When I click on a, a hyperlink, it does not take me to the website. Hmm. Maybe it's just an underlined thing. They're like really wanting you to just know. Oh, I thought you were doing an underlining. Thing. Oh, no. <laughs> it's an underlying <laughs> issue. Yeah, I'm trying to look into more data about this. Find I, out for yeah, I, I, was, I asked Catherine because I was like, I don't know. Maybe Catherine was into that growing up. She was homeschooled. Maybe that's a thing. It's like going to the zoo. You know, they had to learn about Darwinism somehow. And so it's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, uh, yeah, look at all these Planet of the Apes movies, man. Wow, there's a lot. The cheapest movie, Battle for the Planet of the Apes, Still made 8.8 .8 million worldwide on its meager budget of one million. It really downsized. Oh, that so, was oh these, this, that was the 1973. One. Oh, was it? Okay, I just chose the middle of a paragraph. That's what you get when the hyperlinks don't work. You know? <laughs> yeah, you're just grasping. <laughs> anyway, I, Rise I, of the Planet of the Apes made 481 million on a budget of 93 million. Dang! So they're cashing in. Maybe That's it's crazy. maybe it's overseas or something. They love them. I think it's actual apes. Watch it. Think about how many apes are out there. If you can market to the apes, you can market to the world. Yeah, it's true. Walt Disney said that. <laughs> <laughs> he was a racist. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's wild, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah anyway, we should I, unfreeze his head. I don't understand it, man. I yeah. I ask. I, I mean, same with the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes made seven hundred and ten million. On a budget of 170. These That's, are massive movies. Why Why aren't people... Maybe I, I should but be who? watching them. But who? Who? <laughs> who? I'm serious. Like, That's so much money. That's so many people. They've grossed $2 billion as a franchise. <laughs> Jeez. So they're doing it right. I, just who's watching? Obviously, I understand, like, yeah, if they're keeping on making them, something's going right. But I'm just like, I don't know of anybody who's like... Like, I don't see anybody wearing Planet of the Apes shirts. You've never heard someone's favorite movie is the Planet of the Apes? I don't see Ooh, anybody which one? Instagramming, which one? yeah, Instagramming, like, Planet of the Apes! Oh. Had to, had to. Oh, oh ha I'm yeah. I'm trying to see if they have any, like, big actors. So good. Planet of the Apes. Uh, I'm a full-on like apist. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, like, that many crazy big actors. Like, the guy who played Gollum. Oh, that's the, the thing. It's, like, all, like, motion capture stuff. So it's, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Still, you'd think they'd get somebody better than what I'm yeah, looking at James now. James Franco, I guess? Yeah. Anyway, I, interesting. I recognize two in the top row. Who, two? Same. I recognize one. Who's, John Lithgow and James Franco. I recognize just Andy Serkis and James Franco. Oh, John Lithgow. I see him. I don't know Andy Serkis. Oh, look at the names of their characters. Terry plays the role of Bright Eyes. Mm. <laughs> Fun ape name. Caesar. First day of my life. Maybe they're good movies. Could Maybe. Be. But just who's but, watching? But tell me if they are. Like, somebody <laughs> tell me. Word I've never, of mouth. And I, I'm not trying to act like I know every single like type of person in the world, but I think I have enough of a diverse set of friends, diverse people I follow online to where if somebody's watching it, I know. And I've never seen anybody from any walk of life getting excited about Planet of the Apes. And yet, here <laughs> you we don't are. see it. Same with uh, 
Like they have a Kong Fast versus Godzilla coming out. Yeah, who are these oh, yeah, monkey the new movies? Who's so excited about the new King Kong that they're like, I gotta see the one with Godzilla in it? <laughs> I don't know. They, those are also just huge budget. Yeah, but like, it's just these like these. They feel soulless. Yeah. yeah, that's my take. It's like cheap pop music or something. Yeah, but like not cheap though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's more of like, but like Selena yeah. Gomez pop music. Just yeah, but like, it's like nothing, nothing deep, nothing emotional. Just like big. Just a very uh, like predictable plot line. Like yeah. there's a hero. He has like a quest. Something gets in the way of the quest. He has a sidekick. He has yeah. a nemesis. It, it, the good guy wins. Uh-huh. Man. Man, the Kong movies are doing just fine as well. <laughs> I believe it. King but, Kong 2005 made half a billion. One movie. Kong colon Skull Island made slightly more in 2017. Godzilla vs. Kong slightly less. Only 468 million. Oh, only 460 million? And that was that was released in like pretty close to COVID. 2021. Early 2021. What's the one that's today? I thought that was Godzilla vs. Kong. Well, there's... Well, there's like, it's like, Godzilla vs. Kong colon, colon the new empire. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I think it says colon the new imp and then it runs out of space. So I, I don't know. I the like new emperor's groove. Could be. Could be. Yeah, could I don't be. know. I don't know what it <laughs> the says. The new yeah. emperor's groove. I feel like I saw a trailer and it's like now they're they're teaming up, which like takes away the whole Transformers, Kong, Marvel, Iron Man. <laughs> Transformers are another Fast one. Fast and Furious. Maybe you guys have seen Transformers. I haven't. First one was dope. Oh, Brad's okay. hot in high school. And I Brad love- liked <laughs> oh, stop. it. Stop. <laughs> Everyone did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Fox was good looking in that. But yeah. The first one was I awesome. I don't see uh, right, uh, gender. You've never, you've never seen it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see Under the Hood. So. <laughs> uh, car I'm movie. circumcised. Yeah. <laughs> Gomco. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you get 11, 11 p.m. episodes. Say <laughs> some other stuff. You wouldn't say at 9 a.m. Oh, Good for Kong, man. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Well, you have n- you next. You, oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say Main Street Roasters is my favorite way. Speaking of revenue, I like to use my revenue on Main Street Roasters. Yeah. How much did they gross in box office? None, because it's not gross. Yeah. I don't like using that word, but I'm talking about something that tastes so good. <laughs> you know what I love? Or what they grossed with me? A beanion. <laughs> 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 A beanion. <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> That's right. A billion dollars. Oh, I'm getting slap happy. That is so <laughs> stupid. That is so dumb. A million? Nope. Nope. Um, try billion. Try a billion. With a B. I'm a billionaire. <laughs> I don't yes, have any are. money, but I'm a billionaire. Yeah, it's all in here. <laughs> Down here. And in the toilet. But hey, drinking Mason Roasters won't give you billions. Oh, no, hey. 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 You toasters. should be a convenient. Com- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the word was comedian, and mm-hmm. you put the beans. Comedian. <laughs> comedian. <laughs> that's pretty good. Well, that's yeah. I think pretty much what they wanted us to say. They said use bean three times in words that don't normally have bean in. Yeah. Uh, Matrixers dot com is where you can get your beans. Uh, maybe you have a little nitro in your garage, like Brad. Mm-hmm. Maybe you've got a little Keurig. They sell K cups. Yep. They'll make it work for you. They will adapt. They you will want, sell it. You want them ground? You want them whole beans? Whatever you want. They're your beans. None of it is beanie ochre. <laughs> <laughs> GRKC is the promo code for the beans uh, to get 90% of the full price. <laughs> That's all I got. Ah, all right, all right. But, there'll, there'll be more. Okay. If we're, if we're going to be slap happy, which I think I am, can we, can we just look at... I, I know I'm 33 years old with four kids, but I saw this thread on Twitter the other day. Uh, that seems like it'd be something that would be pretty fun to listen to and watch. So uh, can you pull it up for me, Timon? Yep. Will Compton, if you don't know, he's a former NFL player. He just <laughs> he just posted this thing, this thread. He just said, drop your best farts. And he <laughs> said, I'll start. And so let's, oh, let's Jake, just... Oh, could you give me Bluetooth by chance? Give you Bluetooth. Well, Timon... <laughs> News flash, bud. Doesn't work that way. Um, can't just hand you. Okay, yeah, I turned mine off. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> so I don't, I, I've i watched, I think, one of these, but it's just like a thread of guys like posting videos of them farting. Dude, I was talking about this. And farting is just never not going to be fun. And I'm not normally a big potty humor, no, fart joke yeah. guy, but I saw a prank video recently where this guy just had a fart machine on his person and... The, the realism of the farts and the way that he would deliver it. So it was just a prank video. All he's doing is just farting on 
just nearby strangers. And like he would deliver some sort of funny line before or after. <laughs> A, who wants roast beef and let one rip something? It was so funny. So maybe I'll like this too. I just think it's like, yeah, go ahead. Let's see. Right, I, right. I haven't watched this. I have no crap. I got a fart. Brian, first call. I'm going to run back to. <laughs> Luck is for the unprepared. <laughs> what an absolutely incredible time. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's see some of the other, like, uh, uh, like user submitted ones. <laughs> is this, I hope that was just... wild. Let's watch this, guys. All like, right, all right, all right. <laughs> three seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just in like an elevator or something playing. Start that from the top. Yeah, His yeah. face. Yeah. All right. All right. You know, it. if the guy's got a beard, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> That one's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, it lasted so long. He really, he, like, worked it up. He, he responded. Went down 20 stairs. You sound so fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy's just like a... Oh, my. These are Wild. Oh. Oh, he's peeing. Oh, okay. okay. Like that. Oh, that one said, "Please listen to the fart I've been been holding in for thirty minutes at Marina's parents' house." <laughs> oh my gosh, that was ten seconds. <laughs> wow! Can you insane. play that one one more? Like just just like halfway through or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh my! <goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like auto tuned. It's so. <laughs> I mean, that right there was seven seconds. Wow. And we got it halfway through. So These I mean, are really good. Are there any more good ones? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, that was fine. That then, sounded like a, a dog whimpering for a little bit. Like oh, a, my like a gosh. Question. Play one, that one, one more, yeah. Yeah, that was good. There's a lot going on. Oh, that one's faceless, dude. That guy couldn't I, even put his face on. I was going to say, it. I also love the camera angles of all these. Like, down. They're just kind of like, they're like, I know this is good, so I'm just going to get it close down there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> <laughs> I just love, all let's, right. let's see what we got. Yeah, you wanted farts? We'll see. <laughs> Didn't love the eye contact. <laughs> oh, ring doorbell. It should be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a simple one. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had anything like this happen to my body. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How, how does... Oh. <laughs> Let's do a drum roll. <laughs> and the winner is. <laughs> no! Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> Four times. Wow. That's good. That's well, quite the thread. Yeah. All right. Wow. Because you know it's coming. But yeah, at the same yeah. time, you don't know how, how long, what it's going to... I mean, <laughs> I was tickled. That was too fun. Wow. Wow. Well, Tymon, thanks for letting your parents come uh, over this late at night and just kind of watch <laughs> grown men fart. <laughs> that was nice of them to let you do that. Yeah, yeah really. Thanks, thanks, Mom. Right. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to say next. That was really funny. That was, that was yeah. Good. There were some doozies. I purposely like I watched like I think the first two responses and then I was like these are gonna be good. I'm not watching it. I, I just I just know enough 
Like all my friends are gonna love that. I don't know if yeah. everyone's gonna love it. I know my I can hear my dad dying laughing to yeah. that. Like <laughs> oh man. My dad, like that's one of his favorite memories of me as a kid was like we had a football like birthday party where my friends and I played football and then we had pizza and like all my friends for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes just told each other fart stories. We're like fourth grade, <laughs> just saying all these different things. And, and your dad loved it. Oh, my dad was just like, this is the funniest, greatest thing. You know, because like one guy would say something like, oh, no, it was like like that. Remember, I remember that. Like whatever, all these different back and forth. And one of my buddies, Charlie. Charlie Leadham, shout out Charlie. I mean, hey, Char. one of the funniest storytellers you've ever heard in your life. So even at fourth grade, it was hilarious. So <laughs> Even fourth grade, huh? Anyway. That's um, fun. How was your Easter? Oh, it was great. Uh, church was really, really awesome. I got to go with some uh, people who just moved to Kansas City, got to take them to church. Rachel was in Iowa for Easter. Um, and so that was awesome. And there was a whole crew of us who didn't have family in town for Easter. So we all went to the Pollards, Harrison and Abby's house together. Oh, and uh, Harrison made us a pizza. Nice. Oh, on the, um, in, the, in the oven? Yeah, in the uni. Yeah. And that was really great. And just hung out in the backyard. And that was fun. And then me and some friends went out and played pickleball. And that's where I saw Ola. And... Uh, oh. People were digging the Friday paddle. I was wheeling a deal. I was like doing my own like paddle demo, basically. Because I always bring a ton in my bag. And people were like, what is this paddle? And I was just dishing them out. Here, take a paddle. Don't know what you think. So, <laughs> That's awesome. Um, it was fun. Saw a Friday Challenger paddle in the wild. It's like the new Those pro are, paddles we just yeah. came out with. We only sold 600 of them at first. We're like, let's do a pre-release, see what people think. Only sold it to previous customers. And a guy had it at Lenexa Quartz. I was like, dude, I really like your paddle. He's like, oh, thanks, man. I really like it too. I was like, cool. That's what I play with. Yeah, yeah. I didn't tell him anything else. But yeah. I was like, that's cool. Yeah, I love the paddles. He, yeah, he's like a super fan if he's one of the first 600 people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of the brand, maybe not of you, you know what but, I'm saying? But yeah, he's clearly a previous customer and loves That's the battle. So yeah, that I'm, was uh, really fun. Do you have a good Easter? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fine. No, I'm, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm so pumped. For the first time, I see a Friday paddle in, in the wild. wild. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like the proud grandpa. Just you know, proud that's dad. my grandson's company. I, I know the guy. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've, I think I've like pickleballed twice in the past, like super long time. But every time I was like, what? Where are they? I just, like, <laughs> I just expect like everyone, everyone's using them, right? Like yeah. the frequency you see them like online or like why yeah. they seem like they should be Aren't everywhere. These the biggest brand in pickleball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that there was a uh, older dude. On one of the target, like a, he was filming an ad for you guys. Oh, Charlie? Yeah, tell yeah, me about Charlie, yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, he's just a very satisfied customer. Okay. Sent us that video, I think unprovoked. Okay. I think he just made us a video, maybe made something like that, and then we asked him, but yeah, we're like, hey, can we use this in ads? He's like, oh, yeah, of course. That's so, awesome. Yeah, Charlie's ads crushing it. And um, yeah, it's it's so fun. That's it's, it's a real good gig. We're my, very fortunate. Yeah, seriously. My, uh, my aunt lives in Tampa. And is a Camp. is getting really into pickleball, and she's got a Friday pickleball paddle. Does she? And, yeah. Oh, she loves Dude, it. We're crushing it in Tampa. Yeah. Probably because of her. Tampa. I mean, Tampa seems like the right place for Bradenton. pickleball in general. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay. Is that Tampa as well? Yeah, it's like that suburb. Right? Okay. She's in Valrico, I believe. Oh. So if you see, you know, whoa, Valrico, whoa, Valrico sales. What's going on? Susie Ellis <laughs> did her job. Oh, Suze. Um, no, my my Easter was great. Um, yeah, it was a fun weekend in all like. Rosie's birthday was Friday, so we went to Good Friday service, um, which was so good. Uh, it was they didn't have childcare for Hattie's age, so she went with me to service, which oh, was cool. really sweet. Because <clears throat> that's one thing that's kind of like rare with us is we don't sit in church with her or with our yeah. kids very often, because um, they just go straight to their children's ministry. What she stuff. do during the sermon? <clears throat> uh, she sat there and she followed along in her Bible, actually. Oh, which really? Is ama- like so wow. fun. Like she doesn't. She can't read yet, really. Yeah. But she knows all the books of the Bible and probably knows the numbers if they say verse sixteen. Exactly. So, that. so like, you know, he's like, okay, you know, it's in Luke, whatever, and she'll open right to Luke and find it. And I, I mean, yeah, she's not able to really read, but she said she was like, I mean, I'm not trying to like paint it too beautifully. Like she was like, yeah, it was kind of boring. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to act like it was like this magical moment. She led another girl to Christ, another seven year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was. We actually sat next to another, like a couple friend of ours. Hattie was, or Catherine wasn't with me, so it was just me and Hattie. Uh, and this boy, I think he's five, maybe going on six, but um, was sitting next to Hattie, and they were getting a little rambunctious before the hey. service started. And I was like, I'm about to have to move you guys. Mm-hmm. They did perfect. They were literally like very, very polite, very good standing ups and down, <clears throat> everything. So, um, but it was just a sweet moment with Hattie and just with the kids in general, you know. I don't know. Obviously, how, I would have yeah, loved Catherine to be there. Um, yeah. But it was just a fun, 
time with them. And um, yeah, so then, sorry, what were you going to say? Just how great I imagine it would be to have had a follow along in her Bible, but even just to not be a distraction to you or others around yes. you, just to be able to like take her in church. Yeah. So is a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas like <clears throat> we were checking in Rosie and Bo for the children's ministry. And at first, Sam, our friend who's the uh, children's pastor, was like, just Rosie? And I was like, oh no, Bo's going to. We're giving you a bobcat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would be a little more restless and like wouldn't feel you know, self-conscious to like be upset at me if yeah. I say something wrong, like he would get mad or whatever. So he's not quite there yet, but Hattie is awesome. So that was sweet. And then Saturday, uh, usually we meet like it's a tradition with my extended family every Easter Sunday lunch, uh, after church, uh, at my aunt Cindy's house for Easter egg hunt and everything we did on Saturday. this time there's 45 people there. It was a wild, great time. Sheesh. I don't have that many people. <laughs> is in my family you yeah. like generations. <laughs> and to be fair, there were a few like people there that were randos. Family. Yeah. A couple people were asking, are you hungry? Do you need I mean, a meal? Family of family. Like it was like my brother-in-law's sister and his cool and her family. Like, or yeah, my aunt Charlotte, who's not really my aunt, but then her niece and whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, great time. So much fun. Um, Easter egg hunt was so fun. I don't know if it was like, I don't know. R- Rosie, like I said, just at this really fun age. Bo's at a fun age where he's like getting a little bit better at finding the eggs. Like I don't have to help him. You know, with Rosie, I'm like literally like, Rosie, look, look right it's there. Just in the grass. <clears throat> yeah. And she gets excited to find them. Whereas Bo's like finding the ones in the trees and like yeah. finding the ones in the tailpipes of the cars and all this stuff. <laughs> My dad always takes such pride in like hiding them in hard places and everything. Yeah, he's finding them, but he's also like putting his mouth on it too. So he's like, all right, one step at hey, a time. Hey, yeah. get, get out of there. Oh, but yeah, he was so pumped. He got all like he took all his candy out and put him in a baggie, put all his eggs back together. And for whatever reason, this is a quirk that Bo's been doing recently, is he eats his candy, but he wants to keep all the wrappers. <laughs> like a movie ticket. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like he it's like like it's a shiny Reese's like foil wrapper. He's it's a like, memento. He's like, Dad, don't throw that away. I want to keep that in my bag. <laughs> like, okay, man. <laughs> whatever. Um anyway. <clears throat> don't throw away the trash. Bo, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> um also, Easter egg hunts in general, what are I get I get really frustrated when it's just like a huge field with Easter eggs. That's just that's not who's is that fun for the kid even? When it's just like go find an egg on the ground. That's not a hunt. That's just a picking up trash. You're saying thing. like take a little pride in how you hide these things. I think it should be like a little bit of an obstacle course or something. Yeah. Like <clears throat> there was one that was like on this garden bed that Rosie had to like climb up some stone steps and like a landscape. Yeah, that's thing. way more fun. That's way more fun than just like like a church that just has an open field that just scattered Easter eggs everywhere. Yeah, it's like give them a challenge, but also give them the tools to accomplish the challenge. Okay, yeah. You know, give them the the egg is up high. Yeah. You give them all the, the parts that would need to create a ladder and a step stool, <laughs> yeah. like figure it out. Yeah, your dad's a carpenter, Hattie. Figure there. it out. It's you like your the jeans. campaign mode of Easter egg hunting. I think it'd be way more fun. Yeah. Like, it just bothers me when churches are like, yeah, they show vid- footage of their Easter egg hunt. I'm like, it's all out there. That's just a field with a bunch of kids picking them up. Yeah. It's like the, the gold rush. Yeah. I want escape room. Just, you're just testing out how fast kids are. Yeah. Um. So anyway, and then Sunday was awesome. Sunday was really sweet. Uh, took him, took, took the kids to church and Bo got this, uh, like he, he went to Sunday school and he got this megaphone <laughs> and he was supposed to yell, Jesus is alive out of the megaphone. Cool. And he ca- kept calling it a microphone, which is fine. That's fine. Um, but, uh, right after service, Catherine's like, Hey, I'm really tired. And I was really tired too. And she's like, could you just pick me up some coffee real quick? And so we're in line at Starbucks and, uh, like we get up there and like they were quiet. The kids were quiet all throughout, like taking the order and everything. Get up to the pay window and I'm paying them. And all of a sudden, Hattie and Bo, like it was like they coordinated or something. <laughs> Jesus is alive. <laughs> when you're paying. Jesus is alive. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't discourage it at all. I was like, yeah. Tell her. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. this is Starbucks. Let's go. Yeah, tell her. <laughs> yeah, this right. is at Main Street Roasters. Main yeah. Roasters would already know. They have rainbow <laughs> colored hair, but not like that kind of rainbow color. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is, you know, we we're just so pumped about it. So um also on the way to church, I like played Sunday is coming with the Phil Wickham song and blasted it, but it didn't sound that loud. And Bo kept being like, dad, turn it down. Please turn it down. And I realized later that I had like 
put uh-huh. all the sound in back the back. in the back from a previous time where I had let them listen to a story or something. So I think I was like... It was blasting. Yeah, deafening them. <laughs> <laughs> Even Hattie was like, I like this song, but can we play it a little bit quieter, please? <laughs> um, My ears are boiling. Anyway, Jesus is alive, came home. Catherine made a nice ham, ham dinner for us, and it was beautiful, wonderful. Ham chops. And yeah, just a great time. Um, just thankful as always for, for Easter. So sounds like a great weekend. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. So anyway, yeah, I got pulled over, uh, this week. Haven't been pulled over in a long time and I was abiding the law. So I was like, what is this guy pulling me over for? Hmm. And cop comes out real quickly. Hey, um, pulled you over. Do you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, I I don't. I was abiding the law. I was just abiding the law. (laughs) And he said, um, your tags are expired. I was like, dang it. That. Uh, always seems to happen to me. I'm not surprised. I didn't know that. I've been pulled over for it, but I, I didn't know that. And uh, he said, well, I'm surprised you haven't been pulled over for it. I said, why? He said, they they expired in 2021. Oh. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> so I've been pulled over in th- years and also, that's crazy yeah. that like I didn't know that nothing has ever been mailed to me that yeah. I've just refused to put on my car. Right. Granted, I've moved. I think... I've moved since 2017. I think I've lived in nine houses, maybe eight houses in seven years. So that's tough to keep up with. Where is the mail going and where, you know, it's but still. a $2 fraud of, of <laughs> mail. Yeah. It's like hard, hard to keep up. Yeah. So it's been more than one household per year. For like How many seven since or eight years. 2021, you think? <clears throat> Was that, were you in Olathe at that point? I don't think uh, so. No, not quite. So it would have been Merriam House, then Olathe, then here. So yeah. still kind of one per year. Oh, yeah. You could have easily <clears throat> lost that. Yeah, or, totally. or like I, I've had them expire and be like, I swear I am not trying. Like if I would have seen something that said, please renew these or whatever. Yeah, you don't purposely not do that. I, I, I remember putting a sticker on Rachel's car. Like I, uh-huh. that's, I'm, I'm yeah. capable of putting stickers on things. Sure. I can do that. When I registered my truck, they were like, Okay, you can either have it go through May of 2024, or you could just pay to have it go through 2025. And I was like, May of 2025 sounds incredible. Can I do it longer? Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee you'll still have expired tags in June of 2025, but like, yeah, I feel good for a while. It really shocked me. When he said 2021, I was like, dude, I promise I did it. That's bad. I'm sorry. Do you know what month? Um, No. Okay. But he, he gave me a little citation, and I paid that, and he told me a way where I could get, I was like... Yeah. What's the quickest way for me to get this and has not worked yet? It's kind of a bummer. Like, this is oh. why it's not fun to do. It's not easy. You try to do it online. With yeah. Like he told AI me to go to, I, to ICANN or whatever. Yeah. I feel Ain't like working. It, at least for me, when it was expired, I had to go in and do it myself. That's what the officer told me. <clears throat> yeah. But that's too bad. 2021. Yeah. Wild. That really shocked me. I was like, yeah, I guess it sounds right. It's, it does feel like it's been a while. But you're going to have to get one of those new license plates with the four digits and the three, <laughs> three letters, and it's just going to irk me. <laughs> you notice those at all? Yeah, they're switching them up. I can't can't believe it. <laughs> just I, every time I see Timon's car, I'm like, just Traitor. take that thing to the dump. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do our um, uh, wins and comment of the week? And yeah, let's and, do it. And, and stuff. Yeah, you want to go ahead? Uh, I've got two wins of the week. One is that uh, I think last week's win of the week was that Rachel has uh, her first interview for a job. It went really well. So the second one of the week is she has her second interview tomorrow, actually. Let's go. So excited about that. I think she's going to crush it. Should be no problem. And I had kind of an interview of my own. I don't think it would be wise to necessarily talk all about it right now, but had a very good day today. Had a very fun meeting. Very good things. And all, all fun things to announce in the near future. Yeah. Um, so yeah, feeling excited. It's been a long day, but a great day. Yeah. Good things happening. It has been a long day. Yeah, yeah, we met for like three hours this morning. That feels like forever ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Had a lot to talk about. <laughs> that is wild. Brad and I are doing a church gig soon. Yeah, man. That'll be, what, ne- the next podcast we record will be? No. Wait, yeah, this Friday. If you're listening to this, this Friday. Brad and I are yeah. performing together. Holy cow. Yeah. Come on out to Double Tree. If yeah. you can register this late. Yeah. Um, <laughs> performing in a marriage conference. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, my one of the week's kind of a random... No, not random. It's not random. It's... Uh, Ha- I don't know how to describe it. Uh, my win of the week is r- – what's the right way of saying? It's a sad thing, but it's a win at the same time. Is that – Bitter that's sweet? Not, probably. Okay. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. It's your win. It's it's a I – ha- I can't think of the right words. Uh, my grandma passed away this past week, um, Wednesday. 
Um, and it was hard and it's still going to be hard. I think it, even though it was like, um, she was 93, 90, 93 years old. Wow. Yeah. Lived a great life. Wonderful life. This is my dad's mom. Uh, my only living grandparent. And, uh, you know, the win is that she was an awesome grandma and it was a, yeah, just, she had a wonderful life and she, I, the win is also that I had to, a grandma for 33 years of my life because my grandpa's died when I was like a year old and three years old. And then my other grandma died when I think I was 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> this grandma I had for 20 more years and she was amazing. I look back on like <clears throat> some of, I, I don't know. I was just thinking about her and like, what did I love most about her? What, it, what was so wonderful about her? And like, um, I think that the thing that she gave me the most of, which is what I feel like I've given to this podcast is she, just blessed me with like, she was funny and fun and like fun. positive. Like she was one of the most positive people I've ever met in my life. Like, and also very excitable. Like I could tell her anything and she would just be like, that is so great, Brad. <laughs> you know, yeah, I think you do have those traits. Yeah. I had, I had this episode. We, we watched a bunch of guys farting and you know, it was hilarious. Who else is doing that? <laughs> oh my gosh. That sounds hilarious. You know, like, uh, she's just always been so supportive of everything, you know, and she's just a wonderful, wonderful woman. And the biggest win is that she's a Christian. And so it is sad that she's gone. Um, I, yeah, our, her funeral is actually tomorrow and it's sad, but it's also like, why are we sad? <laughs> she is in like, I think we, you, you said this earlier, like she's literally in a better place, she's truly in a better place. She, she was old. She was, you know, struggling physically on this earth and she is in a wonderful place now. And so, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where just be thankful for your grandparents. I'm thankful for my grandma and I'm going to miss her a lot. But my win of the week is that I got an amazing experience with my grandma for 33 years. And even my, like, even Hattie, like we were talking about memories. And she has memories with her great grandmother. Yeah, it's you know, cool. oh, I remember this. And we went and saw Christmas lights. And then we went to McDonald's and Gramsci was there. And it was amazing. We had ice cream and we dipped our fries in the ice cream. You know, oh, that's like, great. Legitimate. So yeah. Core so, memories. That's yeah. Awesome. So anyway, um, yeah, so that's my win of the week in a really, yeah, I don't know, roundabout way. That's that's the word I was trying to find. You knew it was there part of traffic. <laughs> Dude, yeah, there's been so many times where I've had a hard time with recall of words recently. But yeah, anyway, time you got to win. I feel like I just have like a lot of like highlights. I just had a good one, probably one that sticks out, a new mile record. Again? Again. Again. <laughs> Six minutes and 20 seconds. Tyvin. He's moving on. I He's And I don't... Moving. And the disclaimer with this one is I don't know if I'll ever beat it because yeah. <laughs> it took a lot out of me. I bet, dude. It was like, and it's funny, it was, wow, it seemed like so long ago. It was yesterday morning. It's like, basically, we had to get ready for church and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, pre-Easter service? And you just bust out a <laughs> Let's 620? Let's go, baby. He the tomb is risen. Yeah. Um, it was the like, stone has been rolled that's away. That's right. Tomb is empty. Uh, and I'm going to move faster than that stone Let's did. Let's go. It was like, I barely had time, like, before we had to leave, and I was like, we're going like straight home from church, quick change, go to my grandparents for like all like the rest of the day. So I was like, I don't want to do this at like 1130 when we get home. Yeah. So like, I just, I was like, I got it. I guess I just should do it as fast as I can. <laughs> so that's what I did. It's out of necessity. And, and we just drenched in sweat. I mean, it was warm yesterday. Honestly, not really. Something's up. Like, Something's up like with I'm, this guy. Something's <laughs> I like up. I'm I don't not know. a super PDs. easy sweater. P -E oh, good for you. But yeah, it was, it hurt so bad. It was like. <laughs> I, it made me think, I think the fastest I could go is maybe 10 seconds faster because of there's like, there's some pretty, there's some really intense hills like near my house that right I'm running 620 through. with hills? <laughs> dude, you, oh this my dude, gosh. Yeah. And you're not sweating. He's in the prime of life Thumbs right up. <laughs> but Thumbs good for up. you, man. So that was one thing. Okay, wait, let me ask you some questions about that. Go for it. As a musician, as a fellow runner, you know, uh, yeah. what are you listening to? Like, you gotta be. I mean, you have to have something to get you going for six minutes. This was so welcome, full blast. On the back, this is one of the only runs Holy that I've done God. of the past ever that I was had nothing in my. You ears. dog. Sums up with this. Yeah, guy. sums up. It was up. just he was listening to his own, mental, my own breath. Yeah, his yeah. fortitude, footsteps, dude. But typically, it's old Ghost Runners episodes. That's like a really yeah. And you're running PRs with old Ghost Runners episodes. Yeah, you you drift away. You get distracted. A podcast is much more distracting than music. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. Yeah, except for if you're trying to like, like push yourself. That that's different to me. Like, I don't know. I don't. Know. I'm trying to think for the last PR. I'm gonna I don't try know to go on a five mile to. run. But was, I could get into probably like Ghost Runners, a longer thing. But if I'm like, like a four or five minute, six minute thing. I mean, you basically said you tried to. You were sprinting. Like yeah, I, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, there's an awkward silence in a podcast and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what else do you want to talk about, Jake? It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. The only part of running and listening to podcasts, which is uh, a bad thing, but not if you listen to Ghost Runners, is when other people go to do their ads. You're like, well, I don't want us in the ads while I'm running. That is the sure. worst. Yeah. Luckily, I think ours are pretty natural and pretty ingrained. You can yeah. still get entertainment value out of them. Sure. But yeah, yeah, you got to plan ahead. Like, are they going to be at, are they near an ad? I don't want to get caught yeah. while I'm running. Half the run, as I'm talking about, you oh, know, man. prize picks. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to, I don't know if I'm going to shoot for a new one anytime soon. But Next maybe like you're late for once, church. sometime when I have a track. Honestly, yeah, dude, a can, track, you will go faster than what you did yesterday. But yeah. Awesome. That was one. Congrats. Things. More I'm highlights? Like one or two other things. One thing I like, probably like song slash artist of the week is Gravity by John Mayer. Oh, oh yeah. I, that whole album. Dude. I had never really, yeah, because on some old episode you recommend, you're like, you said you listened to Continuum. Yeah. And like, I was like, I've never really like actually checked out John Mayer and I love it. I love that oh, album. The, I mean, talk about soulful jazz. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that whole, the, the his guitar it's just tone like, it is doesn't have to second, be, like none. complicated. It's just yeah. like so just like pure music. It's great. It just feels out every little, oh. Yeah. Um, you should look up. I, I watched a video of like him writing Stop This Train, I think. One of the one of the songs of the album. Uh-huh. It was like one full day of him writing and recording. Wow. One of the, and it was just so That's fun awesome. to watch like his process for it. Sweet. Yeah. You should listen. I don't know if I said this on the podcast episode of that or whatever, but you should also listen to his live Where the Light Is album. It's okay. like the Nokia. But he goes, he does three different versions of John Mayer. He does acoustic, which is him and his guitar, yeah. which is unbelievable because you're listening to it and you're like, oh, snap, he's actually the one playing while he's singing, uh-huh. which is, he plays incredible things. Yeah. And then he does his band next, whatever, I don't know, full uh-huh. band, and then he does the trio, which is just three people, obviously. Nice. It's also crazy because he's like, oh, he's playing electric guitar and doing these riffs. Uh-huh. Anyway, I get, yeah, <laughs> I get really excited about that album in Sweet. general. Yeah, that was one. And then I guess... One last thing is we're we're singing some bangers in choir. Yeah, yeah. baby. We're yeah, like the next our next concert is like a pops concert. It's so like actually like more well known songs instead of like these random obscure like. Should we try to guess them? Technical songs. Could we guess them? You think? Are they? I don't know. If you give us like a little like a little hint, don't stop the feeling. Justin Timber, like <laughs> try <stop. laughs> try. Now to think about it, most pretty much all of these are musical theater related. Oh, it's like more well known in that area. Bangers of love. to your people, like Seasons of Love Rent. No, that's nah, a little too non Christian. Think about yeah, gr- um, think think like very very like um, intense standards, and then like a little more of that. That's Greenleaf. So like <laughs> songs in those in that realm. No, I don't know. It's, but they're but they're like uh, they're they're musical songs. Yeah, musicals. Three of these are honestly like I don't know if I expect you to know all of these. Probably not. Maybe two. Sounds like. Sounds like I might go zero. zero. Yeah. <laughs> Whole new world. Uh, <laughs> like anything like, is he Disney? Yes. Okay. I think one of these is Disney. Oh, give us a little more hints. Okay. Okay. We've sung it together. Oh, gee. Hakuna Matata. No. Uh, that's a big hit. Very door. recently. Newsies? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Seize the day? Seize the day. Oh, fun. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Can I, can I come like sing with you guys? So <laughs> come practice. Open the gates. and Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. And then... We're doing a whole. I'll just I, you will probably, yeah. We're doing a whole like medley of like a ton of Les Mis songs. Oh, which that's in there. Les Mesley, that's what they call it. <laughs> Les Mesley, Beanian. Yeah, and then um, have you seen the movie Harriet? No, Tubman. Yes. Yeah. No. There's a it, song called Stand Up from that. That's really good. And then Corner of the Sky from Pippin. Dang, can't believe yeah, you're right. Those, <laughs> we those are not, bangers. But you those dang, have, you but, could have given us a million tries to even think of the. Musical. I guess Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I, I, once I thought more about it, I was like, okay, actually, these are these may be really good songs, but not necessarily super well known. Yeah, but yeah, you guys should come to the concert. Can't remember when it is, but I'll tell you. Let us know. I'll be there. I cool. would love to go and bring Hattie too. I think yeah, she would love it. That's fun. Yeah, I'd love to go and bring Rachel. Sweet. I think she would love it. I think Hattie would love it even more if Rachel were there. Bro, could come if I bring both of them. Yeah, cool, fun. I'll let you know. Love it, dude. Thank you. That's my highlights. Fun. It's some wins, baby. Next, we've got a uh, comment of the week. Um, Time, can you give me some old war music for mine? Sure. Maybe while you're pulling that up, Brad, you want to share your <laughs> comment of the week? Yeah. Mine is a YouTube comment from last Monday's episode, two Mondays ago. 
Abby Scheib8662 says, Brad and Jake putting Tywin on the spot for a made-up jingle is pretty much how jingles started with Jake asking Brad for a jingle. <laughs> we've come we've come full circle, and I love it. It's a fun, That's fun cool. thought. Yeah. yeah, thanks for recognizing that, Abby. Because, <laughs> yeah, like I think I said last week or last whenever episode. that was of like, yeah, dude, like you're the one that made me sing. Like you, you started <laughs> singing, and then I would like sing. Because I've always been so jealous of other people who can't. Like if you could sing, you need to. I, yeah. I will pimp you out. You must do it in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Let me watch. Let me watch. Let me listen. Yeah. Let me harmonize. I can't do what you can do. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Let's okay. see what an old no war what music sounds sound like. like. But oh, you don't know this song. <gasps> this is not the right kind of war okay. music. <laughs> so look up like Civil War era music or something. Civil right? War. I do like that though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying we were listening. We were talking about that today. Today, this morning, John Fogarty. Like how I American think CCR Civil War. CCR yep. might be like low key one of the best best bands of all time that no one. I think really it's talks like one about. of our favorite bands, and yeah. we just don't recognize it. Perfect. This is a comment in the face. This is a post in the Facebook group from Case and Crow. My. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> my dear, my, my dearest Roberta, as I sit by the flickering candlelight, my heart overflows with a longing to share with you the joy that fills my soul. In the midst of my travels, I stumbled upon a treasure unlike any other, the Ghost Runners Talking Show. It truly captivates the essence of old school storytelling. <laughs> Weaving together humor, insight, and genuine camaraderie. With each new installment, I am transported back to our cozy abode, enveloped in the warmth of your presence. <laughs> the mixture of Jacob's travels as a jokester and Bradley's never-ending supply of children. The myriad of topics seems boundless. There doesn't seem to be enough paper for me to start discussing the young whippersnapper that facilitates their adventures for the world to hear. I chuckle now to even think. I truly hope you partake and write me with haste. My love, though miles may separate... Is it getting louder? <laughs> My love, <laughs> though miles may separate us, the joy of the Ghost Runners talking show serves as a beacon, guiding me home to you. Forever yours, Clarence. Thank you, Kaysen. Some Someday time is going to be comfortable enough to actually make it louder and pull a prank on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, like, turn it up, up, turn up. Yes. Oh, man. That's I wonder funny. if sad, dramatic music would have worked better. But hey. <laughs> no, that was perfect. It just was... The, once once the, the singing started, it was... But even with the singing, like... I thought that was Seize the Day. I thought that's how that goes. <laughs> that, was, that was great. Have nice. you ever seen um, the Jimmy Fallon SNL skit, um, like when he hosted SNL with the Civil War thing? Um, I know, it's, that's too vague. Uh, but it's like they're, like, they're like singing these like Civil War songs. They're like, we need a really good like hook at the end. <laughs> Remember <laughs> no, that? No, I don't think I... It's like him and Harry Styles, I think, and... Party at my parents' house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that man. Is really Maybe funny. we should put that in the end of something today. Maybe at the end of the audio version or something. I mean, it's just so funny. Something. Um, yeah. It's, it, it, that, that's what that song kind of reminded me of there. That is good. Thanks, Kaysen, for the awesome comment. That's fun. And also, shout out Megan Carlson. Oh. Forgot to mention her in last week's episode, but got to see her and basically your whole family. Laura Farms, a lot of the kiddos. Yep. Some random girl named Carson. They were all there. Uh, whoever her youngest, I forget her youngest son's name, doesn't look so young anymore. Saw a picture of him. Okay. I mean, do you remember <laughs> meeting him like at the basketball game? Or, like, no, the, but good for you for remembering that. The weekend before the basketball game, her kids came with her. We met at Oklahoma Joe's. Remember wow. that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe's yeah. Casey. And I mean, this kid was a kid, and now he looks as tall as everybody. Yeah. I mean, ain't no kid. Those kids no are more. sprouting up these days. <laughs> <laughs> they live on a farm. That's when it's going to happen. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they were great. Uh, Tommy, do you have a comment of the week? Um, no. Dang. Come on, mama. Just uh, say no. The word's no. I don't think I do. Thank no. you. No. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner's not at <laughs> your place, charge? mama. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in charge? <laughs> Who's in charge? Right. Uh, how we feel? Good episode? I, I, love, I love recording with you guys. Thanks for... Good doing fart. it every week. We'll always find a way. We will find a way. Uh, so, yeah. Appreciate you guys listening. Oh, shout out. Just a quick rowback at the end. Yes. GRKC20. Rowback's been real good to us lately. Yep. Be good to them. Really, really nice clothes. And it feels like the right season. Like Not, not that there's not there's a wrong season for rowback, but their polos just look real nice Golfing this time of year. Season. Yeah. yeah. 
it's it's a fun season to wear a nice lightweight rowback t or uh, polo. Permission to be honest, Roback sent me some shorts a while back. Didn't love them because the waistband was so tight. I was like, if these are mediums, I I don't know how anyone's really? wearing any of this. And so the next time they sent me shorts, I would just like give them away because I thought I didn't like them. Yeah. Well, turns out I'm glad I opened the box. They've they've changed their shorts. Well, they their have multiples. Sh their shorts are nice now. I yes. got this like mint pair. They're like really just awesome. They're comfy. They're thin. Okay. So those, they have gym shorts and then they have like everyday shorts or something like okay. that. Okay. The gym shorts are awesome. The th yeah. that's Those sound like the gym ones. Yeah. They're okay. great. Give me more of those. Okay. GRKC20. Yeah. Really, baby. yeah. I'm a raving fan of those. Yeah. They got good stuff. Good to know. Yeah, the uh, the pants are tight, but like <laughs> they're good tight. I like I like the shorts that I have, but they're not like the most flowy shorts in the world, like you're saying. Yeah, they're kind of like uh, I almost said like joggers, but we could talk about it all day. But but know. basically, I uh, hope you have a good guys have a good week. Thanks for listening to our podcast, and um, what else we got coming up? Ghost Stories Getaway, like one girl spot left, kind of last minute for you to sign up now. But yeah, hey, very we'll last take minute. your money. Holler at us. We might technically have a two-person room available as well. We'll see. Just holler at us if you want to come. We'll find a couch. We'll find a couch for you. Huh? Hey. We'll hey, find a couch. Mama will keep the, the stove hot yeah, for you. Yeah, we'll find a couch for you. <laughs> uh, we love you guys. We'll see you uh, next week. Yeah. It's fun that you drink energy you drink right now at 11 p.m. That's all, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you guys. Love you. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody. Oh,